Good morning from the Pompeii Observatory. This morning I know a little bit more about the C-Star S30 than I did yesterday, so I'd like to share with you the new information. A big one is the price. The C-Star S30 will retail for $349 compared to the $499 for the C-Star S50 and the Dwarf 3. C-Star S50 is in stock. You can order it and get it in a couple of days. Dwarf 3 orders are shipping. C-Star S30 is on pre-order only and they made it clear it will not be available before Christmas. It weighs about 3.64 pounds compared to C-Star's S50. It's just a touch heavier than the Dwarf 3. The S30 comes with a tripod, Dwarf 3 does not, S50 comes with a tripod as well. Uh, this, the S30 uses the standard 3 8 inch uh, thread for the tripod. Big consideration for me is the aperture. The S30 has a 30 millimeter aperture compared to Dwarf 3's 35 millimeter and C Star's 50 millimeter. Glass has its privileges. The bigger the aperture, the more light it will pass to the sensor. Regardless of all other consideration, a bigger aperture, more glass, clearer images at the end of the, of the night. Focal length is 150 millimeter. It's an f5, uh, just like the C-Star S50, uh, f over 5 with a 250 millimeter. And uh, Dwarf 3, 150 millimeter. It's an f uh, over 4 for the 35 uh, millimeter lens. The C-Star S30 does have a second camera. I could not find much information about it. While uh, S50 does not have a second camera, a Dwarf 3's wide-angle lens is 3.4 millimeters, giving it a focal length of 6.7 millimeters. So it's an f over 2. Resolution. They went with a 2 megapixel format, vertical format, or portrait, I should say, uh, just like the S50. It's 1080 by 1920. Uh, Dwarf 3 is an 8 megapixel landscape sensor that gives a full 4K resolution. The secondary sensor, the wide angle sensor on the Dwarf 3, is a 2 megapixel sensor 1920 by 1080 uh, just like that on the C Star S30. C Star S50 does not have a second sensor. The main telephoto sensor is a Sony IMX662 for the C Star S30, IMX462 for the S50, and IMX678 for the Dwarf 3. Built-in filters, uh, the three telescopes have uh, essentially identical UVIR filters and O3HA filter. Actually, in testing Dwarf 3 versus C-Star S50, uh, I got the impression that the Dwarf 3 filters have slightly narrower band than the S50. I'm able to get slightly more fidelity on the HA and O3 from Dwarf 3 than S50. However, the C-Star has the upper hand by including a dark filter internally that allows taking darks. So, uh, and you don't need to take the darks, it does it automatically before every uh, session. Dwarf 3 uh, the dark filter is external to the device, you have to put it on externally. And uh, last uh, and consideration here is the amount of storage internal. The C-Star has 64 gigabytes, both the S3 and the S50. Uh, Dwarf 3 has 128 gigabyte storage. Uh, one uh, thing to keep in mind here, Dwarf does not give you the option whether you want to store individual frames or not, it will store all the individual frames. And at 8 megapixels, that can get uh, very heavy on storage very easily, very quickly. 
Uh, C star gives you the option of storing them or not storing them, plus they are a lot smaller. Uh, that's a wrap for now. As soon as we get more information, I will be sure to share it. For now, dark skies everyone, and we'll talk to you later.